from the lush green lands to the cascading waterfalls. Wonders of the world, the oldest habitat of territories on earth, a rich cultural heritage, a continent of 1.1 billion people, second largest and most populous, a continent pregnant with possibilities, home to 30% of its mineral resources, 50% of its people under 25 years, Africa, the land of the great, our spirit resilient, our enterprise profitable, our future inspiring. Africa is inspiring. Be inspired. Patriotism is simply love for one's country. It's an emotional attachment to your nation. It's uh, giving all you have, I mean, emotionally to your nation and knowing fully well that you are there for the nation and the nation is there for you. For each and every one of us, whether we like it or not, we have to have a place that we can call home. Here, basically, we have our own houses. But beyond our houses and our community and our society, we have a nation and we have to be patriotic to that nation. Sometimes here, yeah, the nation feels and doesn't give us all that it should give us to make us want to feel as if we belong. But then we shouldn't give up on the nation. It's about each and every one of us. And what is it that we as individuals can do to ensure that our nation gets to where it is? And what love do we have for it? If you have hatred for your nation, what will you get out of it other than hatred? Other than seeing all that which is wrong? I like to use myself as an example. When I was much younger, I hated my country. I hated Nigeria. Because all I saw was the fact that this is a nation that had filled me as a little girl who was so in need of the country being there who wanted so many things that her parents couldn't give her because they were poor. The nation was never there for us. Yeah, I do understand the fact that unfortunately in Nigeria, when one is poor, one is nameless, faceless, faceless and voiceless. But then, I got to be 40 and I realized that I was the one that was failing the nation. I have become part of the leaders, I have become part of the nation that is failing, the, part of the people that is failing this nation. And I knew there were so many children out there too who were hating me as being part of a nation that has filled them. And I knew, of course, I had to do something. I had to turn that hatred that I had for my country, the hatred of them not being there for me when I was a child, when I was hungry, when I was homeless, when I needed so much and the country was not there for me. I knew I had to turn it around and give back to my nation that love and be patriotic to it. And love it in such a way that we know what love is and give it to other people. And that's where advocacy came out. I know if you love something, you have to fight for something. If you if you're emotionally attached to something, you don't give up on it no matter how hard it is. You don't give up on yourself because you love yourself. No matter how hard things are, no matter the number of mistakes that you make, you go out there, you fight for yourself, you stand up and you keep going. And that's what you need to do. And so when I turned 40, I realized advocacy had to come in. I have to fight for Nigeria. Because if you love something, you have to stand for it, you have to fight for it. And I realized that I had become the problem of Nigeria by doing nothing. And I had to show my love to Nigeria. I have to be patriotic to Nigeria by fighting for Nigeria, by fighting to ensure that things that are wrong, that are wrong are made right, by ensuring that all those who are coming up do not go through what I had to go through, by ensuring that by, by giving love to my nation, that my nation will understand what love is and give love back to its citizens, and so that the citizens will come together and love the nation. And today, that's what I'm doing. And I ask of you, instead of feeling bad about our nation, instead of hating our nation. Why don't we show it love? Why don't we be patriotic to the nation? But mind you, you need to understand that patriotism is not the same thing as following leaders blindly. For some of us, we think patriotism is when we follow our leaders and whatever they say, we agree with them. No. It is ensuring that our leaders are doing the right thing for our nation. It is ensuring that Nigeria is getting the best deal. It is ensuring that each and every one, each and every one, has a right place. A quote that I heard recently, made by uh, from a uh, late Amin Kano, who says that until Nigeria is a place where the child of nobody 
we get to be somebody without knowing anybody, we would have no peace. And that is the Nigeria that I want. A Nigeria where it doesn't matter who you know. A Nigeria where it's not about religion, where it's not about creed, where it's not about, about your gender or, the, or your tribe or where you come from. It is, a, it is about what you can bring to the table. It is about giving everybody a level playing field so that everyone has an opportunity. So that even that child of nobody, even that child of the poor, who today is made faceless, nameless, and voiceless, would know that they have a chance, would know that they have voice, and would have faces. And they will have the opportunity to be able to dream big, opportunity to achieve so much. And that is the Nigeria that I want.